Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before I begin, I'd like to ask you a question. Who has ever felt kind of wealthy just because their phone's battery was at 100%? Please raise your hand if you did. Exactly. Because wealth has never been just about money. In fact, for most of human history, wealth was simple to see. It was something you can touch. Land, gold, animals. The wealthiest person in a village was the one with the biggest fields, the strongest horses, and of course the heaviest chest of coins. Then came the Industrial Revolution. Wealth moved to factories, oil rigs, railroads. Still physical, but less visible. Then the digital age came and changed it again. Suddenly, the wealthiest people weren't those with land or oil. They were ones who built software and platforms, things you couldn't really touch, but that connected billions together. Now we're entering something completely different. An age where wealth isn't just stored or produced, but is rather generated by intelligence itself. An age where machines can think, can adapt, and even act on our own behalf. For the first time in history, we are creating a form of wealth that doesn't even need human hands to generate and grow more of itself. My name is Sultan Ghaznawi. And I'm here today to raise a question. A question I believe will define our future. In an age of artificial intelligence, what will wealth even mean? Before we understand where AI is taking wealth, maybe it's important to understand where wealth already has been, because wealth has never stood still. It keeps reinventing itself. And if you zoom out, wealth has gone through three big eras. Tangible, land, gold, mechanical, factories, oil rigs, and digital, networks, algorithms. Now, we enter a new era. We enter the intelligence era. Where wealth isn't really just about what you own today. But it's more about what your systems can act in your absence. Because AI changes wealth from something static, locked in a vault or in a bag somewhere, into something dynamic constantly adjusting itself. Take this example. An investor might take a decision to rebalance their stock portfolio once every quarter in the past. Today, today an AI model can rebalance that same portfolio thousands of times a day, making thousands of decisions, reacting to news, every single piece of news instantly faster than any human ever could so wealth becomes less about the size of your portfolio and more about the quality of your decision engine because the higher the quality of your decision engine the better trades it can, it can do in your absence, the faster those trades, the better data your decision engine has 
the wealthier it will make you in a shorter period of time. What does this mean? It means that the balance of power is about to flip in the world. Those, those who control intelligence will soon become more powerful than those who control capital itself. Think about that. So, if AI changes wealth from something we own into something that thinks, how does that change show up in our lives? What does it look like in real practice? I think there are, I believe there are three forces to look out for. The first force is the speed of compounding decisions. Wealth has always been about compounding. Money, making more money over a period of time. But AI compresses that timeline in a way never seen before. It can move capital, shift an investment, approve a loan in a matter of milliseconds. Your grandparents might have waited weeks or months to get their loan. You, you might have waited days. But your children, your children are going to get one in seconds. No, no, no. AI will be able to predict when they will need their loan before they even know it because it will have much better data about them. It will understand their spending behavior better than any human loan officer today. The second force is the democratization of sophistication. For decades, even for centuries, financial expertise and investment advisors were locked in private banks for the elite only. Today, now, AI puts that power in your pockets. A student in Riyadh has more financial forecasting power on their smartphone than a Wall Street banker had 10 to 15 years ago. The third force, value beyond capital. If the student has that forecasting power, it doesn't mean they know how to use these AI tools. It doesn't mean they have learned to use these AI tools. So the skill gap, the skill gap might be the world's new wealth gap. And when money, when money can move instantly in a single line of code, not even a click, money itself stops being scarce. What becomes scarce, what becomes important is trust. Will people believe in your system? Reliability. Will your system survive or recover when technology fails? And adaptability. Will your system be able to move quickly before the market shifts? In the age of AI, your reputation might be more important than your bank account. So these three forces, speed, democratization, and value beyond capital, they sound really powerful because they truly are. But with power, if we can learn something from history, is that with power always comes risk. And AI is not neutral. Artificial intelligence is not neutral. It learns from our mistakes. It learns from our past. And our past is full of mistakes, full of bias. Imagine this scenario. An AI home mortgage lender would deny, would reject a family's home mortgage, not because they can't pay, but because the system or the data labeled their neighborhood as too risky.
if left unchecked, if left unchecked, AI could create a future where the winners are not just predicted. The winners could be pre-selected. And the gap between the AI enabled and the AI excluded could grow faster than any wealth gap in history. So here we are. AI could make wealth smarter, faster, more widely available, but it can also lock in inequality and bias. So the, technology, the challenge is not in technology only, it's also in us. How do we define wealth in this age? What principles do we want to put in place to guide and rule this AI? I believe there are three principles that matters the most. Three A's, access, agency, and alignment. Access not just to the money, access to the tools, the algorithms, the data that actually creates opportunity. Without access, none of us is even in the game. Agency, the ability to shape what AI optimizes for, not to just what it spits out. It's not in our interest to build an AI that only optimizes for profit. Alignment, making sure that wealth generated by artificial intelligence benefits not just shareholders, but society at large. Because wealth that undermines stability is not real wealth at all. So AI can make wealth more available. And we've seen wealth in the past. We've seen where AI will take wealth. We've seen the opportunities. We've seen the risks. Now we go back to the main question of this talk. In an age of artificial intelligence, what will wealth even mean? It might mean freedom. Freedom to choose the life you want without all systems holding you back. It might mean agency, having a voice in shaping the decisions that will impact your future and your children's future. It might mean resilience, building a form of wealth that will serve you, but will serve humanity as whole. If we get this right, and this is a big if, but if we get this right, wealth in the age of AI will be more inclusive, more adaptive, more human-centered than any other time in history. But if we get this wrong, if we get this wrong, it could become the most powerful engine for inequality that humanity has ever witnessed. Ladies and gentlemen, the choice is ours. The choice is yours. But the time to define it is now. Thank you very much.